All right, guys, this is Mithril with day two of Exodus Creek. And let's see here. Last time we got some good stuff. We got the Sidewinder. We got the Black Pearl, the Boomer. We got a Hornet. We got the Grouch, the Growl, the Compadre. We got two Pepper Boxes. Uh, three Pepper Boxes. The Scrounger. I think that's everything. All right, here's the build. No bar. And yeah, let's continue on with the mod. Okay, sweet. I think we got it. And yes, we did. Nice first try. The devotion. Let me turn off my run counter. There it is. Oh, is that a shield? Yes, it is. So it's a Torg shield. Spike damage, nice. Its red text is, come to me, my little melon baby Kali. It deals explosive spike damage to melee attackers. Spike damage will stagger the targets. Black and white. All right, let me see, where is it? The devotion, let me pull it up. The spikes stagger enemies. It is reference to Pepe Le Pew. All right, the skunk, yeah. The French skunk. Oh, ha, ha, ha. All right. I think I'm going to use that since uh, Melee Creek. All right. Melee me, please. Come on. Somebody melee. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Of course. He melees me as soon as my shield goes down. Wow. That was a lot of damage. Drop reload. Okay, so the Warden has two new items. I looked it up just in case. Now, it's not the Warden here on top of the dam. It's the Warden at the Friendship Gulag. So I don't know if I need to let the Warden escape or what. I mean, I'm not going to let him, but I guess we'll find out together, right? Okay, now that we completed a dam fine rescue, a new enemy actually spawns here at the Bloodshot Ramparts. Let's see, where is it? Let me look really quickly. The enemy is the Punisher, and the Punisher spawns like right here in this area, it looks like. Okay, we got him to spawn. There he is. Come on, reload. And I didn't see an orange beam. Can I not? Okay, good. I can. Yeah, he did not drop what we were looking for. So it's time to farm. Oh, and we got it. That being the retribution. So it's a relic or an artifact. So the retribution gives us deflection chance, damage reduction, and deflected bullet damage of 400%. It never sleeps. Chance to deflect enemy bullets, which deal increased damage, or taking damage further increases this bonus. The retribution. That's pretty strong. Imagine if you had the uh, antagonist shield on. Huh. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this on. That sounds uh, pretty good. Okay, now that we're here in the Friendship Gulag, there's actually two enemies we need to farm, one being the Warden and the other Izago, a Surveyor Boss. Okay, so that's nice. So right here is one of the possible spawn locations. I don't see it. Also can Oh, there you go, the Retribution. Look at that. That's crazy. Okay, Warden is here and Izago is right there. Oh man, he's kind of fast. And I don't know where he went. Looks like 
He went out of the map? Yeah, out of the map. Oh, just the worst. All right, no dice for him. What about the warden? And no dice for the warden. Okay, I think this is new, the lawmaker. Uh, let me save and quit. That way I don't die. Where is it, the lawmaker? There it is. Okay, so it's a Hyperion shotgun, a corrosive Hyperion shotgun. What color would you call this? Teal? Aquamarine? Some sort of blue, white, and green. Okay, its red text is, in times of war, the law falls silent. Times 16. That's pretty good. Mag size of 24. Hmm. Four ammo per shot. That's, uh, that's pretty taxing. Okay, so it fires twice. I'm only clicking once. And it fires twice. And it looks like it does fire damage as well. And maybe slag? Is that what I'm seeing in there? So it does corrosive, fire, and slag. Let me pull up the new tab. Always corrosive. Has a chance to fire additional slag and incendiary pellets. Yeah. Hmm. Why is it firing twice, though? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I have a bandit part? I don't know. But still, pretty cool. Oh, nice. We got another lawmaker. Please don't down me. Is it better? Oh, I don't even know. Hold on. And it's worse in every way. Oh, and we got it. I didn't see it. Nice. So it's the rain, I think. A Hyperion pistol. It's like a dark blue and white. Okay. Hmm. And then its red text is, the universe is mine to command. 100% crit times 2, 2 ammo per shot, 25% melee. Oh, it would help if I actually had it equipped. Alright, it's pretty accurate. Let me get some crits in here. Another lawmaker. Mine's better. I'll take that. Hmm. So what is it? Just a accurate, like, crit pistol? Let's find out. The rain. Oh, come on. Fires bullets that spread and converge horizontally. What? Oh, I see. They go out and then in. Ah, gotcha. Um, I mean, it's kind of cool. I'm not sure I'm the biggest fan of that, though, because... If I was aiming for his eye, it would not hit his eye, you know? But still, pretty nice. Okay, level up. And, hmm. Let's do... Feed the meat. Okay, and we finally got what we we're looking for. And that is the Bastion. Let's put it on. Damage resistance of 10.8%. Its red text is won't back down. Increases resistance to all damage types. That could be helpful. Probably not as helpful as the retribution though. 
Let me bring over its thing. Yeah, increases resistances to all damage types. That's what we know. Uh, nothing down here. All right, sweet. Uh, unfortunate though that the retribution comes for it because I think it's just better. But still, pretty nice, pretty cool. I like it. Okay, so turn in the mission, but do not remove the power core. I repeat, do not remove the power core. Come up here to Lilith, get the mine all mine mission. Also, let's change our name and skin. So instead of Krieg, we're Krieg Odus. Odus, like that, Kriegidus. And... Let's do... Yeah, why not? The pumpkin head. And then... Yeah, this one. Okay, so we need to farm Prospector Zeke, unless we get a first try, which would be nice. And no first try. What the? Uh, he flew away. Okay, level up. And we got the item we we're looking for. Nice. Another into feed the meat. And then it was a grenade. The outbreak. Oh, that's rubberized. That's not good. Uh, it's slag. It's pink and white. It's red text is complete. Global saturation. 1.2 fuse time. Blast radius is 470. Hmm. Okay, so it just bounces up and down, and each time it hits the ground, it explodes. Hmm. Let me... Well, tab. Why is it not loaded what's wrong with my internet there we go always slag when deployed it will bounce in place creating a smaller slag explosions with each bounce then the final explosion has greatly increased radius all right so it's a you know just a slag grenade all right i can get down with that Okay, so we need to pick up the quest, The Iceman Cometh. Okay, so you can get the item we're looking at today, or not today, but you know, the item we're looking at. You can either get it from the mission reward, or you can get it from the freezing psychos. They can also drop it. Okay, so we turn in the mission, and we get the brickwork. Where are you, the brickwork? Let's put you here. I said, let's put you here. Okay, it's got like a Minecraft skin on it. Hmm, it's red text is, drop it like it's hot. 25% melee damage, explodes like a grenade when reloaded. Uh, so far, I'm not seeing anything too obvious. Yeah, I have no idea. Where is it? The brickwork. Here it is. Deals increased reload damage, increased reload speed, fast pistol ammo regeneration. Oh, I didn't even look at my ammo. Oh yeah, we are regening ammo. I wouldn't call that fast. I mean, eh, it's actually pretty decent. All right. Nice, now I have a uh, ammo regeneration method, at least for pistols. Let's see. Okay, that was a miss. Dang, over 2,000? Please stop moving. Wow, and it only does under damage? That is a lot of damage to throw. 
Okay, it looks like we need to do the bandit slaughter. So let's get started on that. Oh, would you look at this? A relic that gives us movement speed and jump height. That's kind of cool. Oh, level up. I didn't even notice. Another into feed the meat. Okay, so we turn in the quest and we get the apex or you can get the hell but we're looking at the apex oh and uh what where is it oh it's level 20 all right let me get to level 20 and then we can take a look at it oh nice level up another into feed the meat okay let's take a look at the apex uh, where is it? Why do I have two of them? Okay. Uh, I guess this one. Okay, it's got moxie on it, so it's a moxie weapon, I would assume. It's red, it's purple, it's very red, actually. Its red text is multiple... So I imagine it shoots more than one bullet, or one rocket, I should say. Oh, it's like a transfusion rocket, so you shoot it, and it gives you health. And it's a uh, TDR, so you throw it once you reload. Although the bullet velocity, or rocket velocity in this case, is kind of slow. Hmm. Is that all it does? Alright, let's see. What does it do? Where is it? What is it called again? The Apex, right. Here it is, the Apex. Uh, rockets release transfusion trails as they travel. So yeah, just a healing rocket launcher. Kind of like the Creamer, but not like the Creamer at the same time. Alright, sweet. I do like that. Moxie weapons are always helpful. Okay, so we need to farm a badass Pyre Thresher. I see it's like Tentacle. I don't know where its main body is. Okay, there's the main body. It finally wants to show up. Oh, and it's very, very healthy. You woke the wrong dog. Oh, nice. I think I got it. Yes. The Fury of the Firehawk. Another relic. Here it is. So we get 19% incendiary damage, 32% burn damage per second, and another 32% chance for lighting enemies on fire. Its red text is burned with fire. And then it says significantly increases all incendiary damage you deal. All right. Sounds uh, pretty straightforward, but just in case I'm missing something, let me pull over this. Okay, yeah, basically what it says on the thing. Too bad I'm not doing a Hellborn Krieg, otherwise this would probably be really good. You know who this would be good for? Hyperius. Still, pretty nice. You could probably rock that with the uh, Flame of the Firehawk and do some massive damage that way. Okay, so we're here in Sanctuary's Hole, and we're looking for a Joey Kablooey. Looks like that's a new enemy that comes with the mod. No idea where he spawns. Uh, no. 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 We leveled up. Oh, let us do salt the wound. Yeah. 
Oh, there's Joey Kablooey. He did not want to spawn. And of course, no item. So that's always fun. And I'm lucky I survived. Well, all right, guys, it looks like this is the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe because welcome to my channel. And I will appreciate it like always. And then, uh, you know, I'm going to try and farm Joey Kablooey tomorrow. Hopefully we can get him to spawn and hopefully we can get him to drop his item because, uh, you know, I would like to show it off. If not, I'll just show you guys the card on the website. And then, uh, yeah. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope to see you guys uh, next time.